The planned execution of a man convicted of killing a Kirkwood police officer is moving forward tonight. And this comes after the Missouri Supreme Court rejected a last minute effort to stop the execution. Fox News Chris Renier joins us live from Kirkwood with the latest developments in the Kevin Johnson case. Chris. Gentlemen, we're, we're just outside of the Kirkwood Police Department this morning. Those here are among the many who have been closely watching this case. Johnson was convicted in 2007 of killing Kirkwood Police Sergeant William McEntee. The case has been in the spotlight for years, but now with the Missouri Supreme Court decision, Johnson could be put to death as soon as 6 p.m. tonight in Bonterre. We can show you a picture of Kevin Johnson, who is now 37 years old. He was 19 at the time of the murder back in 2005. Sergeant McEntee was patrolling in Kirkwood's Meacham Park neighborhood when Johnson shot and killed him. Johnson fired several shots into McEntee's police vehicle, hitting him. Then Johnson shot McEntee again when he got out of his cruiser. Authorities have said that Johnson was angry, believing police did not do enough to save his younger brother, who had died earlier that day from a health condition. A jury deadlocked in Johnson's first trial, but then he was convicted of first-degree murder in a second trial. During a virtual hearing before Missouri Supreme Court yesterday, a special prosecutor argued that there was racial bias in the case and Johnson's execution should be stayed. But the attorney general's office said the trial was fair. In a 5-2 to two decision, Missouri Supreme Court refused to stay the execution. Here is some of what attorneys argued before the high court. The 12 men and women that sat on Kevin Johnson's jury were fair. They were qualified to hear the case and they were not biased. That reviewed over 30,000 pages, contacted many witnesses, and reviewed other case files. The evidence was clear that there was racial discrimination infecting this prosecution. Outside the court, there was a demonstration against the planned execution. More protests are planned for today. And during the hearing, Governor Parson denied clemency. A statement reading in part, through Mr. Johnson's own heinous actions, he sold the life of Sergeant McEntee and left the family grieving, a wife widowed, and children fatherless. Clemency will not be granted. For now, live in Kirkwood, Chris Renier, Fox News.